Why did I move from wood to fiberglass? Because wood expands, it breathes. You paint and all of a sudden you get a crack where you don't want a crack. I went further. I made a mold out of um, styrofoam. Very thick styrofoam can be very strong because that's what they put under the floor of the airplane, a very strong styrofoam. But you can have styrofoam and you can uh, mold the styrofoam and you can put the fiberglass over it. That's when you're creating another form of tablet without uh, uh, any cracks. You're in full control over that. And then around the edges, you put your form. So therefore, you have this kinesthetic moving surface, really, and undulating. It was very physical, very hard work, very hard work. And because you have to cut, you need a saw. I burned out so many saber saws. But all the time you're using all these heavy things and you're doing something that is so fragile and sensitive. You know, it's monochromatic white. It's almost like an infant in a, in a white nightgown. It comes out very nice. If you go any further, you can. You might even go the other way. You have to pull it back in. I've done that. And uh, so you work like that. It's interesting. It's not boring. And it's not just a canvas. Uh, you put it all together. You were creating it the minute you hit the floor and put it together. And uh, you made decisions all the way along. So maybe two weeks to three months to six months later, you have a nice painting. It really, uh, it was a crazy way to work. But you came out with something quite unique and quite beautiful. And you had something that is like the movements in your own life. You know, what can you explain some of the things you do or why you do them? How you screwed up or not. You know? And that's what's in the painting. One sixty-four. Here it is. You want to take a picture of your, your piece in the blend? <laughs>